Hi, and welcome to the brief update from Retrack about iOS 15. Honestly, a lot of people have not yet coped with all the changes in ad tracking and attribution and mess in the reports that were caused by iOS 14.5. And we're talking here especially about Facebook media bias that uh, those changes had tremendous impact on how they do things now compared to how they used to do things a year ago. So, what is iOS 15? Uh, we think it will be a bigger mess than iOS 14.5. Why? Two big things will be impacted. Emails and attribution. How so? Let's start with email marketing. Two big cases. First, do not track email opens. And this will change approach to how you measure your email marketing campaign results. Second, ability to generate fake emails on the fly. This will be a mess in your database of emails. And second, this will impact your attribution because when you send hashed PI data, for example, to Facebook, email is part of it. Now it will be fake and attribution will not work properly. Second, big impact on attribution is because of no IP address or actually obfuscated IP address and obfuscated user agent. Again, those two are critical parameters and create what people usually call fingerprinting. And it will impact the quality of attribution from ad networks, including Facebook again, because IP address and user agents are key parameters when you send conversions back to Facebook over conversion API. It means that all the attribution and reporting done by your ad networks will be even less reliable than before. Key takeaway, you need to embrace uh, your own tracking based on your own first party data. Then you will be less dependent on IP addresses, user agents, or the postbacks to your ad networks and you'll have your own attribution that is working on your own rules. So these are all the updates for iOS 15 now. We'll keep making these uh, short videos as we reveal like more empirical findings. Stay tuned and try Red Track.